This video is going to explain how to wire a push button switch. Uh, to wire a push button switch, we're going to be using the digital pins just like we did with an LED, uh, except now the digital pin is going to be an output rather than an input. The pin is going to sense whether electricity is flowing or whether it's not flowing. So to start with, I'm going to take a wire from ground to the negative side of the bus. So I have a, a, a negative ground here. And then I'm also going to take one from five volts to the positive bus here. You only need one wire from each because this entire row is connected and this entire row is connected. Now I'll bring my push button switch into the breadboard. Now you guys have a slightly different looking switch uh, and that's okay. It does the same thing. Check out on uh, my previous video on anatomy of a push button switch. So I'm going to go from 5 volts in the breadboard to one of my switch pins and then uh, from the other switch pin here I'm going to go to one of my digital inputs. I'll just put it in digital 1. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use. So now when the button is pressed electrons flow through into digital one that the computer sees that electrons are flowing it sees the switch being on. Now when the switch is off there's some uh, residual electricity some extra electrons floating around that we don't want. Now to get rid of those extra electrons we're going to use what's called a pull down resistor. Um, this resistor has a different ohm value from the one that we use for the LEDs, so uh, make sure you get the correct one. These ones are brown in color. I use different colors so it'll be easier for you to tell. Uh, and I'm going to take this resistor, I'm going to place that in this here, I'm going to place that in parallel with the side of the uh, circuit that's attached to the digital output. So the resistor went in the same side as the digital pin, and then I'm just going to jump from there. To ground. That way any extra electrons that are floating around, uh, stray electrons, will be grounded out and they're not going to give you a false reading of that button being on. So to review, 5 volts to the positive bus, from the bus to the switch, and then from the switch to the digital input, and from the switch through the resistor and back to ground.